Hi, I'm Samantha DeGrandi for the Center for Biosimilars. Your resource for clinical, regulatory, business, and policy news in the rapidly changing world of biosimilars. Here are the top five biosimilars articles for the week of November 19th. Number five, Sandoz has launched its infliximab biosimilar, Zesli, in the European Union. Number four, during the annual scientific meeting of the American College of Gastroenterology, researchers from the United Kingdom reported on yet another large non-medical switch from reference infliximab to biosimilar CTP13. Number three, Denmark's national authorities have confirmed to the Center for Biosimilars that Humira did not offer the lowest price for its adalimumab biosimilar in either of the two national tenders. Number two, Pfizer has announced that it has launched its Epitin Alpha biosimilar, Reticrit, at a 33.5% discount to the reference product, Epigen. Number one, Samsung Biologics, parent company of the biosimilar development business, Samsung Bioepis, has been fined by the Republic of Korea's financial regulatory body after the commission ruled that Samsung had committed fraud. Finally, last week, our e-newsletter asked if Democrats and Republicans are likely to find common ground in regard to lowering drug prices. To view the results of the poll, visit us on LinkedIn. To read all of these articles and more, visit centerforbiosimilars.com.